In this video, we will show you how to do a static check on ATV 61 and 71 drives ready for 25 horsepower and below. To do this, you'll need to get a category 3 meter, preferably, with a diode scale as a value that you can check with. And just so you know, a diode scale looks something like this, where you have a, a sideways triangle with a, a vertical line over it. And the way you measure the diode, or the diodes in, in this case, is you measure between your L1, L2, L3 to your positive and negative side of your DC bus, which is the PA and the PC respectively, and to check their output side of the drive instead of the input this time, you go between your T leads, T1, 2, and 3, to the DC bus, PA and PC. So, just to get started, we're going to have your positive side of your meter going to the PA plus of your drive, your positive side of your DC bus. And so let's go and do it. So we're going to put your positive on PA, like this and your negative on L1. Now, just so you know, we should be expecting in one direction you get OL and in the other direction you should be getting a, a 0.3 to 0.4 volts DC meaning when I swap my wires you'll see the difference. So let's go ahead and do this then. So that's the first line 1. Now let's go ahead and go to line 2 with your negative side of your lead and now line 3, they're all reading OL. Okay. Now, let's go to swap your lead so that your negative side of your meter is now going to go to PA plus instead of the, P, instead of the positive side like last time. And now measure L1. You can see it's about 0 0.8, 0 0.48, excuse me. Let's go to L2, about the same, and then L3. Okay, so everything is looking normal because as I mentioned before, when you're measuring these diodes in one direction, we're getting about 0.3 or 0.4 volts and when you swap your leads of your meter you get an OL. In fact in some cases you will have a, a, a building up value of a uh, it, will sh it will show 1.8 and 1.9, 2.0 it will keep increasing until your meter reads OL. So that was the positive side of your DC bus now let's go ahead and check the negative side of your DC bus while still measuring your line side so Let's go ahead and go to PC this time with a positive lead and go to L1. So we're getting about 0.4 there, 0.49. Next line, L2, about the same, and then L3. Very good. Now, one last test. Swap your leads one more time, this time with your negative side of your meter to the PC minus. Same measurements, L1, overload, L2, overload and L3 overload. Again, the main thing to check for is a 0, 0.0 or very low ohm value or voltage value. That's how you know you have a short. Now, those were all on the line side of your drive. So we have done a total of 12 measurements going from your line terminals to the DC bus PA and PC in both directions of your meter. Let's go and measure the output side now to T1, 2, and 3. So to do that, uh, you'll have to make sure that your, of course, you don't want to have any power here, but it's the exact same measurement with the only difference being is that you'll go from your PA plus and PC minus with both directions to T1, T2, and T3 of your drive. And if you need any help in terms of what the terminals or the terminals are, uh, you can always look at the back of your main door of your drive and we'll show you where the line, your DC bus, PA, and PC, and your motor connections are connected.